think most people are actually rooting for the teams themselves rather than individual players. I think some teams are definitely bigger than the players. It's slowly rising. In League of Legends, first you need like a really good lineup, so you create like a strong organization and a strong presence. A great example of this team solo mate. Only Dyros is old school player there, but still they have so many fans. You can hear uh, crowd cheering TSM on the every single LCS week. I think still though the the players are a bit what like makes the brand, you know, like Pekka, Reckless for Fnatic. The fans will obviously do the link between that, but if it ever happens, if we replace them, I think they will still like Fnatic because it's an entire team, it's not only about a player. If you don't have a famous player on your team, then the team is obviously more famous. I mean, when you say Rocket, you don't think any one player out of them. And I guess the same is for us. Even though SK was always known for having Ocelot, I think that the new players have done very well as well. When you change a player, you know, player is uh, very important, but not that important as the whole team. When you change the whole roster, it's just a completely different story. You know, it's not the same team anymore like it is in, uh, with Gambit right now. I still consider them as Gambit. Like, when I think about Gambit, I think about the lineup right now. It's really tough, at least for fans, because they're watching and uh, they're rooting for players like Darian, who was in Gambit and 5 like, for three years almost. I think like most of the fans understand that we're struggling and we just have to try to change anything, like something to at least get to play off. A lot of people like saying when Alex left team, like no Alex, no Gambit, but it's not like that. The organization's still gonna survive and pick up new players. The true fans not gonna go anywhere.